Hello, and thank you for checking out Fitness Friday. I'm Shiloh, and today and all month long, we are busting myths about fitness. And today, specifically, we are gonna bust the myth that women should not lift heavy weights because they may get bulky. And for that, I have asked my good friend and personal trainer here at the health park, Rebecca Klein, to help me show you all that that is not true. So first off, just a little science behind that fact. Women do not have as much testosterone as men. Men actually have eight times more testosterone than women. Testosterone is that hormone that is gonna allow people to build muscle at a greater mass and a greater rate. Women actually have more estrogen, which is going to help us um, not help, but allow us to carry more fat, unfortunately. So, that being said, men are just naturally gonna have more lean muscle tissue than women. So, we might have to work just a little bit harder than men in order to grow muscle, but that allows us to lift heavy, and we're able to tone our body, get that tone smoothed, look, and she leads a very busy life. Um, and I just want her to kind of tell you her experiences with lifting weights. She's lifted weights for years now and how that has helped her in her life of being a mom. So it's really important as moms that we be strong because of all the things that we have to do. You know how mothers are multitaskers. We're carrying one child on one hip, we've got our bag on the other, we've got our groceries in the other hand, we've got our cell phone here and we're unlocking the door at the same time. We have to be strong and you, of course you want to be able to get down on the floor and play with your kids and jump and run and throw and so um, functionally it's really wonderful to pursue strength. Great and that being said with all those movements that we do every day it's important to work our muscles out with weights with some resistance. So if you're not into weightlifting and you just kind of want to hit the major points the major muscle groups we're going to show you the top three exercises that are, that are going to give you the most benefit the most bang for your buck. That's going to be the larger muscle groups, including legs and upper body. So we're going to start with a squat, and we have a couple different options for you. We have a barbell squat, and we also have a goblet squat with a kettlebell. Both are heavier weights. So we're going to just demo those really quickly for you. You want to do the kettlebell? Okay. not wake up one morning and be like oh my goodness where did all this muscle come from you have to work really hard to even put on a tiny bit of muscle muscle gain is very slow yes. so you will not wake up one morning bulky <laughs> next is a little bit more challenging um, naturally women are just strong with their legs because of all the lifting we have to do I want Rebecca to show you all a pull-up this is gonna work all the major muscles in your back and your upper body including your arms So notice her elbows are going out and she's pulling down, pulling her chin up over those bars. Now we know that this is very, very challenging, especially for women. Our upper bodies are not quite as developed as men's. So if that is not something that you are um, interested in doing, or if you want to try something just a little bit easier, we can modify that with a lat pull down. That's going to be over here. We've got two of these machines at the health park. They're great for developing all the muscles here, including biceps, middle back, upper back. And again, you can pick a challenging weight here. It doesn't have to be light. We want it to be challenging in order to change our bodies. And lastly, we're gonna work the opposite side of our upper body, which is gonna be our chest. And Rebecca is just gonna show you a push-up. Um, we've gone over these hundreds of times before. This is basic, you can do it at home. Again, it works the entire chest, the biceps, triceps. It's even working her core because you'll notice that her whole body is one straight line. So she doesn't let her hips sag and she also doesn't kind of, she doesn't bow her back. So it's requiring a lot of core strength as well. Great. Okay. And then a variation of that yeah. would be the bench press. You're going to work the same muscles, um, but this time you get to use a bar. You get to distribute the weight a little bit differently. The bar weighs 45 pounds. You don't have to start there, but you can. 
and you can just naturally go up as you get stronger. And ladies, the rule of thumb on how heavy you should lift is pick a weight that is challenging. Not so heavy that you're gonna hurt yourself, not so heavy that you can't do it with proper and perfect form, but a weight that is challenging for you. And Shiloh and I were talking about a good rule of thumb is if you're gonna do 10 repetitions, you want about seven, eight, nine, and 10 to be really challenging. You wanna be done when you get to number 10. Right. Just remember if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. So we hope that you take these tips and you get in that gym or do these workouts at home and really start to see some improvements in your body. Rebecca, thank you so much for helping me out. And happy lifting, everybody. Next week, we're gonna be back with more myth-busting tips and also tune in for Wellness Wednesday. They're also gonna have some nutrition myths that they're gonna bust for you. And this is your place to get fit one rep at a time.